Who are you? Is that an important question? Would you say, who am I? To find out who you are, you have to inquire. You are the story of mankind. If you really see that, it gives you tremendous vitality, energy, beauty, love. Because it is no longer a small entity struggling in the corner of the earth. You're part of this whole hum humanity. It has a tremendous responsibility, vitality, beauty, love. But most of us won't see this. But whereas we are most of us concerned with ourselves, with our particular little problem, particular little sorrow, and so on. And to step out of that narrow circle seems almost impossible. Because we are so Condition so programmed like the computers that we cannot learn something new. Our brain is sluggish, slow, dull, because we have conformed, we have obeyed, we have followed. And when you do revolt, as the revolutionaries and the terrorists do, it is still very superficial changing the pattern of politics, of so-called society. Society is merely the relationship between people. And we are talking of a revolution, not physical, but the revol psychological revolution in which there is no at the depth conformity. We put on trousers, because in this country, and we put on in India's different clothes. That's not conformity. That's, that's nothing childish. But inwardly, not a feeling of conformity. Conformity exists when there is comparison. But a mind to be totally free from comparison. That is, to learn, to observe your whole history which is embedded in you, 